So how do we grow taller? What's the secret? I think I probably had about a thousand messages and comments in total to do a video on this topic. So without further ado, let's begin. Now it's thought that genetics account for 80% of our final height, but there are something called environmental factors which account for about 20% of our final height, and that's what we're gonna to discuss today. So puberty is when we typically begin our growth spurt, but we all grow at a different pace. Now once we go past puberty, we generally stop growing. So if you are watching this video and you are in your adolescence, that's fantastic because this video should help you maximize your potential growth. However, if you're not in your adolescence, then please continue watching because there are tips in this video that can help make improvements at any age. Okay, so tip one, avoid stunting your natural growth. And the big players in this are caffeine and smoking. So the way that caffeine does this is by affecting your sleep because sleep is vital for you to grow to your maximum potential and I'm gonna discuss sleep a bit further on. Now research has shown that smoking and even secondhand smoke actually reduce high in children. So if you do smoke, please quit. Or if you do have any family or friends that smoke, please help them quit. And also ask them not to smoke around you. Ask them to smoke outside so you're not getting that secondhand smoke. I'll leave more information on quitting and about secondhand smoke in the description below for you too. Which moves us on to tip number two. Now to help you grow the tallest possible, you need to be eating a healthy balanced diet. So you need to be eating proteins, you need to be eating fruit, you need to be eating veg. I know it sounds like a grandma talking, but it's true. Your body needs these minerals so you can grow the tallest possible. Now I'll also leave a really useful link in the description below all about healthy balanced diets. It's by the NHS and I'd highly recommend everyone to read it. Tip number three. Get enough sleep. Most of our growth actually happens when we're sleeping, and that's when our body releases the most amount of growth hormone. Now, if you're not sleeping enough, it's actually hurting the amount of growth hormone that your body releases. So you're actually not helping yourself grow to your full potential. Now, you're probably thinking, well, how much sleep should I get? What's the healthy amount? Well, it all depends on your age and how many hours you get. So what I will do is I'll leave more information in the description below for you. Feel free to check it out. And if you're struggling to fall asleep, I did make a video on this a while ago. I'll leave a link up here and in the description too. Tip number four is all about exercise. Now when we do exercise, it boosts our hormones. It boosts our growth hormones, it makes us process foods differently, and it contributes to muscle growth. Now all of this can affect our physical appearance, including height. Now if you're five to 18 years of age, you need to be aiming for 60 minutes of exercise every single day. So what you need to do is put those phones away and exercise. But first, watch this entire video, get all the tips, and then put your phone away and go and exercise. I'll also leave a really useful link in the description below, which has got all the different age groups and how much exercise you should be doing. Tip number five, many people actually lose height without even knowing it. Think about this, you're watching this video right now, you're either sat or you're standing, but how are you sat? How are you standing? What's your posture like? So tip number five is all to do with posture. Now think about this example for a second. You've come to the doctor's office, you've come to the nurse, and you've been asked to take your height. Now, you probably don't stand slouched, do you? When you get your height, you probably do what I do, and you stand as straight as possible to get the best result. It might feel unnatural though. So what you need to do is make good posture your natural stance. And you might think to yourself, but Abraham, that's easy. I just stand straight. But it's a lot more difficult than that. What I will do is I'll leave a link in the description below. It's an NHS article on how to maintain good posture. And I guarantee you, if you do it properly, it will make a massive difference. Now, some of the messages that I received to make a video on this week's topic had been a little upsetting to read. So I just want to say, please don't compare yourselves to others. I don't think I've ever personally thought about someone's height when I meet them. I focus on people's qualities, and you should do that too. Focus on your great qualities, don't think about it, don't let it get to you, and always remember that you're awesome. See you next week. All of these will contribute to your physical exper experience, appearance, without even knowing it. Think about it. You're watching this video right now, you do it, you do it, you do it, you do it. Now it's thought that genetics account for about 80%. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos.